I'm back off holiday and I'm back driving a bus and I am feeling absolutely great. Um, sun is out, it is currently 19 degrees and today it's going to reach 32 degrees apparently. Um, so I've got my aircon on so I'll be fine. I'll be absolutely fine until my big bus driver friends who are stuck in the cab of the bus absolute sweating their little beans off and there's me here with my air con if I get a bit too warm I just stick it on full and if you can hear that is the sound of coldness brushing against my legs uh, truthfully I'm in a bit of a rush this morning I spent like five ten minutes trying to sort my camera out so I have really, really got to put my foot down today and get to the start of my journey. Where are we now? We're in finally tyres. So I'm going over the back from we're based in Honley. So I'm going over the back through finally tyres. Up of Almondbury-ish way. Up through Lepton, then onto Houses Hill. This is I think this is the first video I've done actually talking about the new job and things and like a little update really it's like it's like a little sean sean update what's that been doing so what has that been doing what has that been doing in these past four weeks i not put a video up let me know any life changing accordances put them down put them down uh, if they don't know already look on instagram facebook that's where i am uh, Instagram's mainly the thing, the social media thing I use because it's just, it's just a lot easier, just a hell of a lot easier, really. And my apologies if I'm looking all over, it's just coming down here in this vehicle, it's just literally a concentration phase all the time. Put it in sixth. Cruising gear, cruising. Come on, are we clear? Alright, of course we are. Plenty of room. Plenty of room there. Rowley Lane. Oh, Rowley Lane, Rowley Lane, Rowley Lane, however you want to say it. R O W L E Y. Rowley, Rowley. Whoever call me flat cap van driver, have a word with this end cocker. Have a word with this then. Get it right. It's a flat cap, long wheelbase, transit van, minibus conversion bus driver. But for short, we'll just say flat cap bus driver. Because it is still a bus. It's not a bus as we know. It does a very, very good job. And the rapport we've got with us customers and with Metro is fantastic. We have customers will wave other buses past just to get ours because we're a lot comfier than regular buses a lot more social and nine times out of ten we are near enough at people's doors this ju the, the junction at the top of Rowley Lane up the top of, like the top of Lepton is horrible so we are just driving through kind of the top end of Houses Hill. I actually don't know even where this is called. All I know is this is this road I only found out the other day is a 60 mile an hour. Because I just thought it were at 30. But am I gonna go 60 down here? Not a prayer. Not a prayer am I gonna go 60 down here. Park cars either side, there's houses, there's people walking. 60 mile an hour, is that even a lap? I always, I genuinely, I'm at six mile an hour. 
and there's a car just bombed round and there's a walker there as well. Well people come round here at 60, 70 mile an hour. Oh hiccups. We've got hiccups now, what's this about? And this is the zicky bit now, this is the bit where it gets me chest hairs and ears. I've got to stick my eyes at least on because this is where we turn around. Cars don't know that, so I'm going to stick my eyes at lights. Hey up, hey up, Pulse One's just turned the sends on. No Danny Milo and Rosie, we don't want to hear you just now. The greatest radio station in the land, as voted for by me. Because it's all I want to listen to. So I'll just pull up at this bus stop. There we go, you see. Perfect. Perfect. So just log on to my ticket machine. Auto start stop. Hate it. So let's have a look. Yeah, we're all good to go. That, that's already signed in. I've got my card reader. So we take card payments. Just check the battery level, 30%. So I always just stick mine in top of the dashboard. Just up there, to hide it out of the way. My phone's got a little mount down there. It's not a mount, it's like a little slot, uh, which sometimes I put this in. But I try and keep this on my seat. So we're ready to go. 39, we're due out Just a few minutes later. But there's plenty of time on this. So away we go. Sniffling, sneezing, coughing, help me, help me. I've taken my antihistamines, but they're not doing that one. All the only thing they're doing is stopping my eyes on watering. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen that yesterday I played Beats of Andy with Pulse One Radio. And I've just thought about it now because it's just come on. I had a little segment in their show with Milo and Rose and they beat the other beat the bandit. The aim of the game really is every question you answer correctly is worth a tenner. Get to 100 quid, you keep it. Anything less, you lose it. <coughs> so that is the aim of the game. That is the aim of the game. And me, yesterday, you know, I, I went on. I went on. I did my best. I did my best and I scored four. Four questions in 60 seconds. Like, I do pride myself on being fairly smart. Four correct answers in 60 seconds. What's going on? I was, I was mortified, I was absolutely mortified. I've always thought I'd be a good eight. Or if I did win 100 quid, you know, I'd have been of a moon. So the weather has hotted up, it's 24 degrees. And I'm feeling it now. It's just the, the, the hands burn as you're know, touching the wheel. It's not nice. Is my mate in with car? I don't know. Is he not? No. He's not really my mate. One of the passengers gets on and always mentions his car. And I'm like, what's so good about this car? I had a look and it's like this Rolls Royce. But it is absolutely battered. Genuinely knackered. I don't even think it runs, but for the past week, he's been painting, well not past week, past two weeks, he's been painting it. Like genuinely, we have paintbrush in his hands. Paintbrush and a pot of, pot of metal paint. He's been painting his own car. I just think if that, if that turns out well, I might get that a go on mine. Just touch it up. Just go into, go into B&Q, I love, uh, do you do Astra Grey? 8.36, I am bang here on time. Sort me beautiful like that. So I'm up at Houses Hill, I've got three minutes up here. So I just thought I'd ask how everyone's doing. Because I've not been on social for quite a while. And I've had a few weeks off uh, with doing things really. Holiday in really, I've been to Cleethorpes. I have absolutely relaxed to the max in Cleethorpes been great 
really great. And then came to work, genuinely, ah, how bad's this? First day back at work after literally a week or two off, there was, a, there was a thunderstorm, which genuinely, I always go to bed late, always do. So I went to bed about half twelve. Twelve, half twelve, thunderstorm at half two, what my little boy up, and he stayed in bed with his all, all night and kept me awake. So first day back to work after having relaxing time off, I was, I was shattered. I still am, I still, it's not, you know when you've not slept very well for a night, and then two or three nights later you're still recovering that little bit extra sleep, I just feel like that a minute. So what is new with everyone out there, what's going on, let me know, comment down below and let me know what you're up to today, well this week in this lovely weather, apparently it's going to rain next week, all week, but I don't believe it because it said it weren't going to thunderstorm, but it did. But I've got a minute, and I am due out, just swapping these over. So a lot of people have asked what we use for tickets, and that's the one. That's the ticketer. We use the ticket, a little handheld portable machine, which all your passes get scanned on the back. Uh, they do deduct the value off the prepaid Metro cards as well. And if anyone wants to pay a card, we use these little sum up machines. And they're really, really good. Essentially, on button, put your amount in, push enter, and it connects uh, via mobile network to um, deduct off your card. Really, really good. And it's time to go. So I'll s take you with me for a little while. The question I am asked all the time, and, I, and I'm asked this off loads of people, is do I miss driving the bigger buses? And yeah, I do. I'm not going to pretend that I don't. I really, really enjoy driving bigger buses uh, because there's quirks on them. There's the rattle, the bang. They're not supposed to make rattling noises, but they do. And there is, I've got a genuine love for driving large vehicles. So a lot of people might be thinking, why have I come down to driving? Uh, a larger vehicle to drive in a smaller vehicle why the change in size and it weren't, it weren't really the vehicle which made me come here it was the ideology behind South Pennine it was the people behind South Pennine um, I had to echo down a notch I'm very very lucky to be in the position where I am people who work for South Pennine are fantastic I've met some absolutely amazing people here and friends who I'm always messaging now. It is really a small family run business. Uh, the week where <laughs> I got asked for to, to come for an interview, I know one of the drivers who works here, because he lives a few doors down, and I, and I went round to his house and I said, am I gonna enjoy it? You know what I'm like, am I gonna enjoy it? And he said, yeah, of course you will. Honestly, you'll love it. And, and, and he were right, I absolutely love it. Are you still loving it? I have, I've got my camera up, I'm recording, I'm doing it. <laughs> it's always nice to see a familiar face and just to see how they are. That That's what I like doing, me, seeing how people are. And if you want to see how I am, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Because this is where all the magic happens. This is, this is where you find out that yesterday in the 27 degree sun I had a slush. This is where you find out first that I failed on beating the bandit. This is where you find out first that that's my car on holiday. So get on Instagram and get following me at the Flat Cat Bus Driver and you'll keep up to date with all the news. Earn me keep, earn me keep. Normally, I jump out of this door and go round, but today is very hot, so I just climb over. Put me this on, get me a ticket machine, and let's jump out and get some people on. Look at that first bus, straight behind me. Thank you very much for following bus station rules, pal. No one to love you, you're going nowhere. So 
hello everyone. This is a little video. I'm gonna do it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's a big hump here. Wait, I'm going forward really slowly. That's it. So let me start again because that always puts me off. That little bit there is horrible for people with me with the low cars. Oh, we're done. So today has been the hottest day of the year so far in 2019 and some people have said, I've seen online and some people said on the bus today that it could be the hottest day ever in the UK recorded, something like that. I think the hottest day so far we had were in 2003, 28.5 degrees and today I swear I saw the temperature gauge on the minivan at 39. So, that's all I'm saying. And I'm driving home in my car with the windows up and the aircon off just so I can talk. So I'm not, I'm already feeling really sweaty. But today, honestly, it's been so good. My bus has been the coldest bus in Huddersfield. And you know what? It's been absolutely bloody beautiful. All day, I've had bus drivers getting off the buses drenched in sweat. I've had them giving out, I mean, I've seen them giving out ice lollies, bottled water, which is so good. So if you're a member of the first Huddersfield team and you're the person who sorted ice lollies and drinks out for bus drivers, honestly, hands down, respect we for that because a lot of people do forget that buses, buses in this weather aren't buses. They are mobile greenhouses and they are horrible. Horrible. I'm very, very fortunate that I had, I had aircon today. Because if not, I'd have been just dripping. Absolute just dripping in sweat. I like it warm, but not this warm. Not this warm. It's warmer today at work than it has been all of my holiday. Um, this video weren't meant to go up this soon. It's literally an improv video. But no, I'm back from my holidays. I'm back from spending a lot of time off. Uh, and I'm back getting videos up. Because you may have seen after my stagecoach video, I didn't put, I've not put one up since. And the reason is, I'll be honest with you, it's time. Um, and people not getting back to me. I've got a load of videos literally edited and ready to go. But I just need final approvals on stuff. And when I go to a factory and do a film, and I send it to them, the, the MD of the factory, the workers, and just say, any changes you want me to make, please let me know. Because the last thing I want to do is make a video put it online and someone not be happy with it so I like to get companies approval on stuff uh, I'm waiting on one or two places getting back to me to go ahead and some stuff can take a while I'll be honest when I'm working with a large company then honestly it's it's a right pain when you work with larger companies there's literally, there's someone for every job title. Horse in weather, yeah, I'm not gonna startle a horse, I'm not, not an horrible person. But no, when you're working with a large company, there's about four different managers and four different directors you, you need to go through. So it's an absolute pain. Um, when I worked with Stagecoach, I was very, very lucky because the bus, the, the autonomous bus was kind of, the, the project was led by one person. So all the person I had to speak to was that person for Stagecoach, Fusion Processing, which was one person, and then, then ADL, who, who had their appointed representative for the bus. And I got <laughs> emails straight away and it were really quick. Of people parking the most ridiculous places on country roads. What are you doing in your Range Rover? Complain if someone hit his Range Rover, won't he? Don't part like a Richard. And if you don't know who a Richard is, then he's just someone who can't part very well. It's warm. I am I, honestly. If I weren't filming, I'd have this window open. But when I open the windows, oh, that's so nice. I don't think you guys can hear anything, but oh. nice I'm, I'm, I'm already sweating i've been in my bus all day not sweating getting my car with windows up and i'm sweating uh, but no i just want to ask how everyone is how, how's everyone doing in this heat have you melted 
Are you still with us? Are you at home with every fan on every window open? But, that, but that's the thing, isn't it? It's like a catch-22. Where, where I live, it's on the back of a farmer's field. So when it's sunny and warm, there's flies everywhere. So I could have my windows open and be infested by flies, or just close them and have a nice, calm, non-fly life. But my house is 50 degrees. So it's one of them catch-22s. So the hottest day of the year, and it's the driving conditions. This is the thing now. Going into bus driving is a big, big step. And when you're driving through winter, you're freezing your little tears off. But when you're driving through summer, you're sweating your little tears off. There's that really nice golden few months between the two, where it's just right, it's just nice. You can just wear a shirt and it's just nice. Um, well, this is unbearable. There's all people sat out at the pub, having a beer. I wish that were me. It's having a delicious, well, what they're drinking, it looks like Foster's. Get me a pint of Worthington's. Pint of Worthington's or Guinness and I'll be an happy man. Extra cold Guinness. Ooh, beautiful. Oh, Worthington's, long that nice and crisp. Beautiful, beautiful. But no, um, work at South Pennine. Got aircon though, that is the thing, that is the gorgeous thing. I've got aircon and there's actually passenger aircon as well. So not only I'm cool and comfortable, but the passengers are cool and comfortable. So it's not just me who's getting the benefits of it, it's everyone on the bus. Which is an absolute godsend. In, in this heat, it's fantastic. But I've survived the hottest day in the UK. Have you guys survived the hottest day in the UK? Comment and let me know what you've done today, if you've been working. Have you got aircon at work? If you have, let me know. If you haven't, let me know. And it's been a pleasure as always. If you haven't, follow me on Instagram. I've posted a few funny videos of me in the hot weather. So I will see you all very soon. Take care and good night.